Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my render settings for the games I real, uh, that I upload on YouTube. So, there's a, one of my friends was asking that uh, that your uh, that your quality was uh, kind of nice and can you show me a, like a video how do you like render and like settings and all like that. So, what you need to like actually record a game is a recording software. I use the Xtory. So, this is my settings. Um, Feel free to copy them, but I'm not sure um, whether like actually um, work for you because it depends on some system, some uh, some like a s systems how much load can it handle? Can it actually handle like um, true quality or like that? Or like depends on what FPS are you are you recording at? So the codec I'm using a normal one, like normal DX Story video codec, and uh, and if you click this button which looks like a pen. There's a different type of, type of quality, but if you really want the best, it's the true quality. But I, but for me, to be honest, I don't really like it. Like really doesn't show much of a difference. I can just actually, to be honest, I like can't tell any difference. So I just go for medium quality, which everyone does. So yeah, compress is actually kind kind up to you, but I'll just leave it unchecked. Okay, and uh, this is the. Um, Resolution I recorded, which is 1280 times 720, which is 720p. Uh, but I'm playing on um, uh, 1920 times 1080, which is 1080p. But I just recorded um, 720 because 720 is kind of enough. So I'll just record at uh, 30 frames per second. Um, by the way, if you can uh, hear me like chewing like you know, like that, and um, I'm like kind of, kind of chewing gum. So yeah. So like I said, um, 30 FPS is uh, kind of nice unless if you're doing some uh, slow motion, some like Twixter or, like, or like, something else, you you kind of go ahead and like mm, maybe in 120 or something. But but in but in the end of the day, if you're really uploading to YouTube, you should just go for 30 because YouTube will like just compress it down to 30 as always. So audio is really nothing much. I don't really care. I'll just show the settings what I put at. Um, pictures I don't really care also so this is my DX story settings I'll just open up the game and I'll just press F9 to I start recording it so yeah so once you get a clip which I haven't really recorded yet and I'll just take um, sample which I which I got when um when I was um when it like, came with the Windows 7 so yeah maybe this will help um, if I can drag it which will be splendid okay so yeah, what I'm gonna do is uh, first of all you you want to right click on this, which is which is um uh, just on the video, not the audio, but the but the video. Right click it, go to properties and disable resample, which will really dramatically improve quality. So yeah, okay. So um before you like, actually get started, I want you to go for to um file properties and then uh, copy all the settings, or maybe that's a uh, profile ready. Or a template, if you want to say. So these are all my settings. You can pause the video and copy them. And uh, also, um, wait, then I'll go to that later. So audio will be all the same. So actually, this is the main part. So I just start all new project with with these settings. Apply, okay. Okay. Once you're done with that, you want to click render as file render as. And uh, you wanna let me just um, go out, which is a video for sorry, video for Windows slash AVR. Just uh, click on the drop down, and like uh, you can like, click on any any template, and I just click customize. So I've um, already made a customized template, which I will name 720p. So this is this all the settings, and once again you can pause the video and copy everything. So once you're done, you can just render it, which I'm going to render now. I'm just going to put uh, this uh, video call one, just because it's much more um, easier for me. And now I'm going to wait while the video renders. Okay, once it's done rendering, I'll just minimize so that I can go to the video, which is here. And uh, and it is kind of big, just for the um, sorry. Just for uh, for a uh, thirty seconds video, 
it's 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 two gig which is ridiculously big so what i got is uh this like software called handbrake and uh, don't worry all of this um software which i've um um mentioned will be all will be um link in the description for you to download so just open up this uh, software called handbrake which will actually compress the video size but um keeping the quality there so you can either just drag it drag it or you can just click source video file and then um just click uh, find the video right here so just open that up okay and what you want to do is go to video constant quality just drag it all the way to lossless which is the best which is um lossless of course loss in quality so the rest is actually that's all so so this is some um, one i'm gonna um, name the file two which is the um, which is the second now i mean which is the second one i'm going to record yep two and now i'll just click start and i'm going to pause until once it's done all right once it's done which is over here the second video file oops i shouldn't have played it i should just show the size sorry all right so like i said this is 2.32 gig and this is 300 megabyte which is a really outstanding comp compressing technology and uh, obviously the quality is lossless just by one percent i guess because i can't really notice the difference and this is how i i record and um, render my settings hopefully you guys enjoy and subscribe if you haven't really helps me out